this is my uh, therapy harp. Uh, it's made by Barbie Edwards, and I'm really grateful that she's come along and uh, made these beautiful harps. This is made of redwood, um, and it just has a really nice tone. Uh, so I've been fortunate uh, to be able to play with Dean, because he's got the melody with the flute, and then this is more of a drone. But even if you don't have somebody to play with you, and you just have one of these harps, uh, or any kind of open tuning, if you're not a musician uh, and you want to just enjoy playing um, an instrument that's very, very healing, I highly recommend this, this kind of harp Barbie Edwards makes. It also has a, a thing here which is a, a long slit, so it's very, uh, like I could just put my ear next to it and or sometimes it might be lying and feeling it on your chest. It's something also if people are into music therapy and they are maybe visiting people in you know a hospital situation or something and they want to play it, it's very quiet and very peaceful. But it also just helps to get, um, get us into that peaceful place inside. And that's what we're aiming for. So it's a perfect uh, piece of music, it's our motto, uh, instrument. Whatever it is you play, or whatever, um, whether you play, um, you know, technically an instrument, or you just want to get into some Tibetan bowls, or uh, learn to play some harp, or uh, ukulele is another instrument that's um, easy to pick up. Uh, finding uh, some kind of an instrument that you're comfortable with and that you want to either learn or that has an open tuning, uh, those are also very, very helpful. Uh, just to Bring your, bring your being back into it yourself instead of out there in the world and you've got all this stuff going on and there's, you know, things you've heard about or there's um, stress in your life or in, uh, in your family or in your workplace or any of that and you've got uh, things you want to overcome because you want to be the best person you can be. I highly recommend using music in some way to support your process. And that's what we've done in our book, uh, our new book that's just out called Quieting the Monkey Mind, How to Meditate with Music. So we talk about all sorts of things, not just the um, making music. Obviously, if you can make music, that's one thing, but many people can't. They can listen to recorded music. Uh, we have a whole chapter on uh, how to choose recorded music that's gonna be best for you in terms of um, bringing yourself to the quiet mind. Um, but we also talk about uh, self-generated music, music that um, we're creating from within, and that's where simple breathing uh, and making tones, uh, or or you know we just you know singing a happy song, or I'm you know, clear my mind, open my heart. I've got a mantra that I teach in there. So we have a, a great deal of exercises and practical tools that you can use to help you uh, to use music as a benefit to going into a deeper place of meditation and to also creating it on a more regular basis. Because the thing about meditation is it is a it's a process and a practice. It's not just something that you do once. You need to do it over and over again. And the more you do it, the more you'll be able to um, uh, find the benefit of what meditation can bring to your life. So hope you'll pick up our new book, Quieting the Monkey Mind. And uh, we look forward to hearing how uh, using music has helped you in your process of meditation or how our music has helped you in your process of meditation. Thank you very much, and visit us on our website, soundings.com. We've got a blog there, and we love to hear your comments. Namaste.